Have you ever been relaxing, say in bed, and you've received a random text message and you quickly realise that it's definitely a scam and you thought to yourself, I wonder who's behind this? Using some social engineering, I managed to find out exactly who is behind this particular text and a spoiler alert, it is not this lady. So, who is Ella Anderson? Well, the scammer sent me a link to a Facebook profile of Ella Anderson. Uh, this person's got 5.4 thousand followers. I've meticulously gone through every single photo and checked everything. And I think this profile is genuine. I think that this scammer is literally impersonating this woman. So what was he actually doing in order to try and steal my money? Well, it was an advanced fee investment scam. He asked me to send $1,000 in exchange for $10,000 over the course of four hours. And now if anybody had the ability to do that, then why would they be just randomly texting people on social media to see if they can find future investors? It was uh, red flags all the way through. So once I did my bit of social engineering, I got to the point of being able to actually view what he looks like. Now you get a thousand Dan points if you can guess which part of the world this particular scammer is from. Uh, for those of you that did guess, he is from Nigeria. So his real name is Ephraim he studies at the Abubakar Tefawa and Belawa University in Bauchi. And that is northeast of Jos and Abuja in Nigeria. So comes the time of me having all of this evidence on this particular person and what was the best course of action. So I sent all this information directly into the EFCC in the hopes that they would do something against him. I finished my bait with him and left him on a thought process that maybe I was the one that got away. And I have not heard anything back from the EFCC. I generally hope that they've got looked into him and actually done some effort. I've got everything on this guy that you could think of. This is Dan two weeks in the future from the making of this video and I had to update it because I sent Ella Anderson a message saying that she had an impersonator and I shared the name of that scammer and a few screenshots and a few selfies of him. Uh, then all of a sudden my profile was blocked and Ella Anderson, the account, it no longer exists. It's been completely shut down. I've tested this from three different accounts. So my mention of the fact that this is a real profile, I, I, I'm going to withdraw that. I'm going to take away the debunked. And I think that this was a scam profile, but a very good one that is no longer in existence. As a final piece to this, I've left a montage of video and photographs of him. Uh, he doesn't wear his shirt very often, so be warned about that. But just at the end, there is a rap that he has made. Enjoy everyone, thank you for watching. Throw up the sex in a uh -huh. And I can put you in I can put you in I can see the whole city from this balcony Back in 2019 I was outside freely But now they got it out for me I don't care what frat that you was in You can't out for me Keep dreaming Pineapple juice, I give a sweet, sweet, sweet. I know 
what they like, so I just keep cheesing. Hard drive full of heat seeking. Trying to come the same day as Jack rethinking. You don't need Givenchy, you need Jesus. Why do y'all sleep on me? I need your reasons. Uh, I got plaques in the mail peak season. Shout out to my UPS workers, making sure I receive it. You could do it too, believe it. I've been a throw up the sex in a... He was superstar now, damn, I guess I am. You might be the man, well, that's unless I am. <laughs> okay, I'll confess I am. <laughs> 